but of course like everything there are some guidelines you can't just link whatever the heck you want to link you have to be careful um, highlight so when you're doing links you don't really want to put the link at the end and be like for more information go here it's sort of awkward sort of strange once again people aren't gonna probably even get all the way down they'll probably give up or it's just they've already forgotten what you said at the beginning if it's something related to the beginning so instead of just awkwardly saying click here for more information about renovations in UAB you can just highlight related word highlight the word renovations in UAB they click on that people understand how links use people are used to links that's the best way that you want to do that of course you want to provide links that are valid and contain up-to-date information if you give a link that gives you the wrong information your entire article is going to seem like you don't know what you're talking about. You need to make sure you do that you check your facts. You can't just link whatever. Don't link to w Wikipedia. Um, if you want to use it as a site in the paper, you probably shouldn't use it as a site here in your article. Of course, be careful with link color. You don't want words to stand out too much, although links can be used as a way to highlight important information. You don't want to highlight it too much so that it starts looking gaudy and unprofessional. You want to follow the template for the rest of the paper. And um, as a last point, always present the information you want students to have before the additional information. They may not come back. So if you're going to write an article about something, but then you provide a link to another article, um, that perhaps is better than yours, that gives the exact same information as yours, that gives more information than yours, uh, why would they come back? You don't want people to leave your article to go somewhere else. So those are important things to keep in mind. So the other question is, what should I link? Um, like I sort of mentioned before, it's, um, primary sources. Um, that's pretty important. If you're going to be citing something, if you're going to be saying giving facts and figures, try to cite back. That's always very useful. Of course, you can also do non-primary sources that are interesting. That's not quite as important or imperative, but if you feel like you want to, and you feel like it's important, or you just feel like it would add to, the, to, the, um, to your article, that's certainly an option. Uh, that goes back to entertainment. So if you really just think that they'd be interested in here, oh, here's some interesting facts, here's some stuff that you guys might want to know. If you liked this article, you might want to like this as well. It's entertainment, entertain them, show them YouTube clips, show them pictures, show them funny things on the, as long as it is related back to your article. You can't just be, um, and here's a funny story about some funny monkey that did something at this one place one time. That is not related to your article. You want to keep things um, professional. You want people to take you seriously. Um, social media, of course. Um, show them Twitter. They can follow you on Twitter. Um, show them your blog spot. Say you like this article, follow this. Read some more articles by me. Um, once again, related articles. If there's another article that's very similar to this article or goes hand in hand with what you just wrote, feel free to point them in that direction.